What is going on, guys? Today, we are looking at Elvedi. I want to say I'm pronouncing his name right, but he is the Switzerland centre-back for Borussia Mönchengladbach, and he's a little bit of a cheap one. He is obviously only 82 rated. He is coming in at about 11 to 12k on Xbox and PlayStation, and I thought, you know what? We've done a hell of a lot of the, the bigger ones, and I think they're good. Like, you, you look at Rashford and you think, incredible. Absolutely incredible. But he has got such a price tag on him. And I want to try some of the cheaper ones. We do always have that, I don't know what it's called, but the managerial friendly one, where you can only have a max of 77. Someone like this would be absolutely perfect to get. Because 82 rated, you can have a couple of 80s in your team, as long as you have a couple of 75s. There is a lot of rare players that are pretty underrated as such at 75 76 to drop that rating and then you can have players like it this in there and he adds somewhat of a value to be honest i was kind of going into it thinking he's got a bit of pace defending's all right physical's good to be honest passing and dribbling it's about average and then shooting he's a defender you don't really need that he's a free star free star and i thought we'll give him a go so let me know the most underrated player you've got on the lower rated scale so say someone below 82 rated we'll, we'll pick his one anyone 82 and below who is the most underrated player in fifa 21 ultimate team that you personally either use or have used let me know down below and if you are down there and enjoy the videos make sure you like and subscribe we are absolutely blasting through these team of the group stage and let's get into the video so we have got a free star free star six foot two right footed switzerland defender Medium, medium work rates, high average on his body type. I don't know what that means. I swear the unique is half the time that it comes up on footbin. But he is obviously from Borussia Mönchengladbach. And honestly, I'm, I'm said that name now twice. And normally I screw up once or twice. First times, both times. Beautiful. What 78 pace, 71 acceleration with the 84 sprint speed. It's good enough, I'd say, because you can whack a shadow on him. And that will go up to 88 pace which i think for an 82 rated center back is absolutely wonderful without no chemistry styles right now footman is telling me that he is an 83 rated center back if we do whack the shadow on which is obviously what a lot of people will do it turns him into an 89 rated center back with 88 pace like we said and 92 defending that is beautiful stuff from an 89 rated center back i think i will probably pick one up and just whack in the club for 10k i really can't complain one bit for this card his defending was actually quite nice his movement was actually better than expected he is a little bit of an underrated beast and you'll see at the end of the review the links that he does have as well are actually quite nice so far but in terms of kind of like ability and everything he is uh, just above average if i was to compare him to like a klosterman who isn't really that much higher so if i ever if I change like a gomez a virgil a varan he doesn't stand a chance because they're, they're different breeds of players. They are the, the top of the top. This guy I'm talking about for the, the lower rated games, for the, the maybe the friendlies with some objectives. You've got a different nation. You've got plenty of links for him. He is actually not a bad player at all. So for me, I thought he was going to be absolutely dog awful i thought he probably his pace wouldn't be good enough with the acceleration being only 71 and having more sprint speed i thought defensively i could imagine him to be quite a good tackler um 84 straight off the base is nice then you add a shadow onto that taking it up is is even better and obviously only being 24 years old he's still got time to grow and could we see any more informs or anything like that he has managed so far from fifa 15 to fifa 20 getting two and forms one in fifa 20 one in fifa 19 which we'll have a look at the end review so i haven't got too high hopes for him but hopefully he does continue this this kind of little, little bit of form maybe it's just champions league cards he get but we'll hopefully see more from him so let's go into some gameplay we've talked about the card and let's see the proof in the pudding so we use this card in uh, the friendlies objectives because if you do go into rivals, he's standing no chance. We know all this. If you're looking at an 82, you're not expecting him to be a foot champs player. You're not expecting him to absolutely smash Div 1 in rivals. Granted, no, I'm not, I don't smash it anyway, but you know what I mean. You're not going to go against the best and the best with this card. You're going to be doing friendlies. We've got icon swaps coming at, at any point now. It should be very, very soon. And it could be that they give you an objective with a 
low rated team, a high rated team. We don't know what they're going to do, but we know they are using that managerial max 77 rated so many times now. And we are yet to get a league player from the Bundesliga. We have Komen, so a great um, addition to the squad to try and do Komen. But we do have that league player coming and he is an absolute perfect gem to put in there. You could put a 75 rated center back next to him, which I did. I can't remember who it's for, but it's another German with about 70 pace also. And honestly, he did the job. Tackling wonderful, physicals nice, pace a little bit hit and miss. But overall, as a defender, I really have not really too many complaints about him, to be honest with you. So if we do go into the overall, as you can see, 12 across the board, it was 11 on PlayStation, but now it's refreshed to 13. He will probably drop completely to the uh, minimum bid during lightning rounds today. So definitely stay tuned for all of that. Make sure you look and, and possibly pick one up. Honestly, I think putting him in your squad as kind of like that player that goes into the managerial um, friendlies or any other friendlies that do come up would be an absolute blessing if we get something like that again. Maybe with a higher rated, but you can kind of just whack him in as an 82 and he really doesn't affect the squad a hell of a lot really and overall I was pleased with him he's not like the best defender in the world but most definitely not the worst that I've played with and as a special I'd say he's pretty good I love the Champions League design as well as we saw in the generations bronze bronze silver with an inform in fact he's had two informs in one year there didn't even notice that one two informs so he's had four informs over the space of five years and then now with his sixth he's got another special card as you can see he's an average player he has come as right back for a lot of the years and he's transformed like a Ramos into a center back and he's he's doing all right he's a rare 78 at the moment he's got himself a cheeky upgrade some really nice stat upgrades as well which is always good to see i like to see the the big boost the big increases with players that genuinely are pretty good and, and, and different to play with i'm sick of playing with the exact same formation of players every single day and it's nice that they've given us not necessarily the chance to use it, but a, a reason to. And yes, I would like some more friendlies. And I'm not going to say I want to do the, the friendlies every single week. But it's nice of a change. Like you using a Serie A team one week. Then you go into La Liga. It pays for me having a big club of, of collected players to really go into these and think, ah, oh, we could use Lozano this week. Or we can go and use uh, an Olmo, who I really like. I want I want him to get a future star again. But in terms of this player, I think the biggest thing that really, uh, really was quite nice is the links that he's got. Summer in form in net is another Switzerland goalkeeper from his exact team. And then we also have Zakaria, who is a road to the final 85, who you can also link in the exact same team with the same nation. Absolutely phenomenal. Jinta, I believe, did he get a team of the season last year? Let's have a little bit of an, an investigation. I can't remember if he did or not. He did. I thought he might have done. But he got a team of the season last year. So could we see it again? We're starting to see a nice little back line going on here. All we need is left back, right back, and we're looking for someone good. Lena last year managed to get a league SBC. I, obviously, I don't think that's going to happen this year. But we've got a nice little Switzerland trio line as such right now. So it's not that bad at all. And if I do go to the Switzerland nation, we have a Kanji who we can link as well, who will get a strong link to everybody. Shakiri, Mbabu, Xhaka, Rodriguez. There's some players that necessarily are on the lower scale, but you could make a managerial 77 rated um, Switzerland team. And I think that would actually be pretty cool to try. Something of a, a different kind of um, way to play the game as such. These challenges, I saw, I think it was Brandon Smith do a bronze foot champs this weekend. Granted, I'm not going to go that far because that is just nuts. But these sort of fun challenges, nation challenges would be pretty interesting. So let me know down below if you'd like to see something like that. I'm interested to kind of branch out. I really, really, really wanted to get a Beckham as I would love to do a Beckham's like Road to Glory as such, but like a, a mini series. Bringing back kind of like the OG, you start with a bronze team and then you work your way up. Every win you'd go and get a, a silver, gold, whatever, and you can kind of build it up from there. It'd actually be pretty fun to try and do that, but I think Beckham is going to go up in price very, very soon and I just do not have the coins for it. But in terms of of Elvedi, I'm hoping I'm saying his name right. 
not bad. As an 82, I think 10k is a perfect price. If you can get him in a lightning round, I'd pick one up, to be honest. I'm going to be picking one up during uh, the, the fight. I think it was, it's either 7pm, I believe, in the 100k packs, just at the end of them. Because obviously, once we get to the ultimate, everything starts to not necessarily settle, but we don't see their massive, massive bids. Everyone's kind of thinking, okay, this is the last lightning round. We're going to start now saving the cards and putting them up in an hour when more than likely prices inflate a little bit just because there's no more packs being opened but overall i've given him a six out of ten and i think for an 82 that is not bad at all great links good similar players and not a bad card overall but hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did make sure you smash that like button and if you'd love to subscribe we are so close to that 7k now 6.74k we're on currently we need to smash that 250 left to get to that 7k it feels like it's been an absolute lifetime from fifa 20 to fifa 21 to try and get up to that 7 and i cannot wait to keep going to get to that almighty 10k hopefully you enjoyed and i'll see you all for the next one let me know who you want to see next peace